Well, welcome back to Dog on RVN. You'll have to excuse the background noise. It seems like everybody's out here trying to enjoy the summer sun before uh, fall and winter come and hit us. Uh, anyway, I've been on cloud nine since I found out I was gonna get my puppy mid-October. Uh, I've been busy uh, cleaning the house, uh, puppy proofing it again, and out here in the backyard, I've been looking at where I need to puppy proof the backyard where I remember Kate and Sarah, only at 10 weeks old, would be back here running around, get lost in the bushes or the trees. And uh, so I'm getting those accordion gates to put around here and stuff, just to more or less contain them until they get too big to get lost <laughs> back here. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I am uh, so excited. Um, I just can't believe this. I, uh, I almost had myself convinced that uh, my luck just wasn't going to come and I'd be sitting here waiting alone in my house and uh, having to just occupy my mind and time with other activities until I heard from the first spring litter from my breeder but thank god they had plenty of females this time around the first time in several litters they've had where they had so many females. So I guess somebody up there was listening to me and uh, was kind enough to allow this litter to be more than plentiful. So anyway, uh, other than that, once Ember arrives, I'll be able to take some uh, photos and pictures of her, which I will use to update my Dog on RV and YouTube page and my banner and such and uh, starting out Ember being eight weeks old is going to be really small and so we're not going to be doing that much it's going to be more like acclimating her to uh, the home the, the yard and such uh, getting her used to traveling in the car and traveling in the uh, RV and uh, just training her not to uh, stress out to be calm and uh, relaxed and to know that if she's with me, she's safe. Also, I'll be training her to uh, not have anxiety attacks and know that even though I may leave her for any period of time, I will always return to her. So I'll teach you guys how I do that because I see so many people do it horribly wrong. They're enforcing negative uh, behavior in their pets and then they wonder why their dogs never act normal well it's always the owner it's never the dog's fault because it's like if you raise rotten kids it's not the kids fault it's the parents who raised them huh <sighs> okay um yeah uh ember even though she's going to be eight weeks old uh I think after she's been here for say a month and she's accumulated, uh, acclimated I mean, to the, the new environment, the new home and such, and she's been introduced to the RV and right in the car, uh, we might take uh, small little trips in the RV just to start getting her used to uh, living in an RV for a period of time where I want her to stay when we're traveling and sleep and such. And I do have that collapsible soft-sided kennel I'll be taking, so she'll have some place she can feel safe in when uh, we're out and about. So uh, I have so much to show uh, all of you out there that watch, and hopefully you'll learn a lot of valuable lessons from how I've learned how to train my dogs for the best behavior and calmness on the road or at home. So uh, I'll point out all the negative things that people just commonly do because they treat their animals like children. Well, if you've seen some children that I've seen, you can tell that don't work very well. <laughs> I've always been proud of my dogs being so well trained that um, out in dog parks, we have a 24 acre dog park near us and I can take my two dogs out there, let them roam free, and then when I called them, they'd perk their ears up, I'd wave, and then I'd say, Kate or Sarah, come, and they'd bolt right to me. And all these other guys out there, 
are just cussing up a storm, swearing at their dog, their dog's ignoring them. And I'm thinking, man, no wonder the dog doesn't want to come to you. <laughs> but yeah, um, oh gosh, it's sad to see summer go. Um, we got storms coming down from the north and in from the Pacific. And uh, we had a real early summer where it was really hot in the 90s uh, in July. And now in August, it's sliding into winter already. That's crazy weather for up here. So, yeah, um, like I said earlier, I've been collecting things for the new puppy. I got her a little cushy bin that I can strap into the uh, seat of the car or the RV. Then I've got that collapsible, soft-sided, smaller kennel I can take in my RV for her to stay in and feel safe in as she gets used to traveling. So, uh, oh, another thing I'm going to try, and I want you to all understand this is totally brand new. It's totally voluntary. It's not going to change a darn thing on my channel. It's, uh, I'm going to try out, I think I did it right. I made a PayPal donation button for the Dog on RV and channel. And the money, as I state on the uh, form, will go towards buying or supplementing the cost of food, both dry and moist for Amber, uh, to purchase some of her favorite training treats and also uh, maybe a new toy or something uh, that she might chew up going through her puppy stage of teething. Also, uh, if for some incredible reason I get more than I ever expected uh, to not only buy the food and treats and toys for Ember, uh, a portion of the overabundance, if there is such a thing ever, uh, will go to help offset the cost of fuel as we travel on the road to different points to explore and show you guys. So that's it. I, I don't have any Patreon. I don't have any uh, uh, members services crap. Uh, this is as far as I'm going to go as far as, you know, uh, giving my viewers a chance to donate as they feel, whatever they feel. So just know that it's not going to buy me an e-bike or all these other crazy things. You see these other scammers on YouTube do with the money. This is specifically for the new pup as we travel and as she grows on the channel. So uh, I think with that being said, um, yeah, I tell you, these this next several weeks is going to seem like a, a year. Um, right now the pup's eyes are still closed. so. I don't expect any updates from the breeder until probably their eyes open and they're more mobile. Uh, I really don't think he's going to be sending me weekly updates, maybe every two weeks. It depends on how active the pups are, I'm guessing, and uh, how interesting uh, a video he can send me. But anyway, whatever I get, I'll share with you guys. So I want to thank all my new viewers because my numbers are still growing, which is wonderful. You know, when I started this little niche uh, YouTube channel back in 2018, uh, I never imagined I'd even have 25 viewers because of all the different videos I saw out there on, on YouTube land. Uh, but I'm glad my channel is starting to click with people. Uh, I think they're getting tired of the BS and the... Uh, bums out there constantly asking for money like a uh, TV preacher and uh, I'm not doing that I'm, I'm I'm only putting out a donation button and um, that's the last I'll say about it it's up to anybody out there to donate whatever they wish and that money like I said will go towards embers well-being and uh, that's all I think I need to say. Other than that, I'm looking forward to a brand new era of Doggone RVing. 
brand new adventures, um, new discoveries, uh, all seen through Ember's eyes. So <laughs> that ought to be great. I think you guys that have been watching me for several years will right away notice a very difference in how I begin this new air, how each episode of our adventures unfolds. So I'm excited about that. I, I have all these in my mind, like the movies have already been made, so I'm really excited about what I see that I wish to share with you. So with that, uh, looking around here, I think I got the backyard pretty well taken care of. I gotta clean up the house, do some puppy <laughs> preventions in there. But uh, ooh, other than that, I'm still planning on going down to Oregon here soon. And uh, I hope you guys will stick with us because Believe me, I think this new era of Dog on RVN with a brand new beautiful pup will be something you won't want to miss. So, as we say here on Dog on RVN, we wish you happy trails and woof woof. Catch you later.